I spoke with Mr. Green, and we have discovered the location of the British Indies secret headquarters. You are to meet him, and he will give you the details. There is a foundry nearby where the Templars and BIC members have been meeting on a regular basis. Mr. Green waits for you there. But we still don't understand why they tried to frame you. We don't, but Mr. Green seemed to think that they're using the factory to develop something. It's a good place to start digging. Good luck. You found the British Indies Company hideout? They've taken over an abandoned foundry. It's heavily fortified, and word has it, they're shipping something precious overseas. My gut tells me that something precious is something bad. My thoughts exactly. Go find out what they're protecting and destroy it. Maybe you'll discover why they're after Mr. Singh. So this is where they've been keeping that sleeping gas. They can't leave London.
do we have here? Shipping this to India? No. What do they want this for? War? I must destroy them. Thank you. 
Go fetch the manager. Yes, go fetch the manager. The game trying to hide. You're too old to be hiding. All you have to do is go back to the shop and collect it. Simple as that. Worth? I'd better get a closer look. 
Destroyed? How? There's someone in the vicinity! The spy! One of those rocks, I wager! Oh, it must be those damned renegades Singer's friends with. Who knew one caged bird could cause so much trouble? You're caught, Ellsworth. Give up. I knew you had something to do with this. Seize him! Damn it. He got away. I must tell Sing of this news immediately. What did you find out? Who's behind all of this? You are not gonna like what I have to tell you, Your Highness. Brindley Ellsworth is behind the attacks. Ellsworth? He was gone before I had a chance to follow him. But we need to track him down and put an end to this before anything worse happens. I need some time to think on this. A letter? For me? The train's ours now. May as well make ourselves at home.
And how are you? I'm the man. Oh, good. You're here. His Highness seems to have caught a mild case of madness this morning. You were right when you said that this was our chance. I was. I propose we make a commotion. Lure out the Templar-controlled British Indies Company. And do what? Put yourself in the line of fire? I need to send Ellsworth a message. This won't be over until we can draw him out. This is something I must do. I will make a scene, and then you need to rough them up a little. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. I've heard you Templars are a bunch of pansies. Here we go. Send a message to Ellsworth. I'll, I'll do anything. Tell him to meet me at Lambert Cemetery tonight, and tell him to come alone. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. Oh my God! Meet me tonight at Lambert Cemetery. He'll never come alone, even if I ask him to. Don't be afraid to spill a little blood. By your command. That caused quite a commotion. He's gone mad. Greeny was right. He isn't mad, Jacob. He's trying to take action. To do the right thing. Oh, never mind. I'll take it from here. Fine by me. I could use a good pint right about now. I was expecting Jacob, but I'm glad it's you who have come. He thinks you've gone mad. 
I probably have. What's your plan? I've asked Brinley to meet me here alone. In turn, he, of course, has sent a small army to secure the area. I need you to get rid of them and meet me back here. It's essential that when Brinley does arrive, I have him to myself. Understood.
That'll certainly help quite a bit, thank you. He's here. I must talk to him. Don't be absurd. This is dangerous. Miss Fry, this is something I must do, and I must do it alone. Remain hidden. I cannot afford to have him see you. You can't escape me forever, Your Highness. Come out and face me. I told you to meet me here alone. I'm not as silly as I once was, see? I wouldn't dare come to this meeting place alone. Not with your recently acquired friends. I am alone, Ellsworth. I knew you were lying, Singh. I told you to meet me here alone. Not as silly as I once was, Sue. I wouldn't dare come to this meeting place alone. Not with your recently acquired friends. I am alone, Ellsworth. It doesn't have to be like this. You can't just walk this earth like a free man. You are nothing more than a trophy. A stand... Ellsworth, listen. I've had enough of this. No, you mustn't. He will kill you. This is what I was sent here for. Be done with it, girl. I shall never forfeit my own mission. I will not allow it. The logins, the company, they all wanted your silence. Whether you spare me or end me, you won't escape the fate they have planned for you. It seems you have learnt nothing of India, of its people. But killing you? That is something I cannot do. It would make me no better than the cursed, oppressive company you work for. Yeah. You will die as you were raised, Sing. You'll never be more than a, a trophy of war. We will bury you in English soil. You have done me much good. I am heavily indebted to you both. We are happy to help. I fear that I cannot continue handling things in this manner. The assassin way is not my way. As helpful as you have been. This empire, this land, my people. The problem is so much bigger than death. I know I must devote my life to this cause. To put India, my home, back onto the map. Return it to its people. It's a long and grueling journey, but it is something I must do, even if it takes me to my own death. We understand, Your Highness. But if you do change your mind, you know where to find us. That I do. Thank you, Assassins. Hopefully we never shall meet again. Hmm. Seems a letter has come for Jacob. I must say, the glint of your brass knuckles really brings out your eyes.
Ah, another exciting night home for Evie Fry. Just on my way out, actually. I found the piece of Eden. What's this one going to do, hmm? Heal the sick, deflect bullets, control the populace. They're dangerous objects, Jacob, especially in Templar hands. Oh, you sound exactly like father. If only. Lucy Thorne is expecting a shipment tonight. She's Starek's expert in the occult. I'm nearly certain she is receiving the piece of Eden Sir David Brewster mentioned. Sounds like fun. Mind if I join you? Promise you will stick to the mission. I swear. The contents of that box are worth more than your life and those of your entire family. Do you understand? Yes, Miss Thorne. Uh, careful there! And double the guard on that cart! Now, Miss Thorne, there's the matter of some uh, papers for Mr. Starrick. If you'll just come this way. Very well, but make it quick. Whatever it is she's after, it's in that chest. There are gunmen on the rooftops. Can you dispose of them before I reach the cart? I was hoping for a challenge.
<laughs> well, that was fun. Thanks for the invitation. Let's do it again. the train for you. Like a pain, new rugs from Camden Loch and my wee sister, the seamstress, did a discount on the curtains. Seems a letter has come for Jacob. Those necklaces make you look quite imposing. 